Hey everybody, it's Joe the UCX guy. Here to talk about using a Nortel 1150E as an attendant console phone on the UCX from eMetrotel. So I've taken a Nortel 1150E and turned it into a central answering position or an attendant console to be used on the UCX 50. So this phone was developed by Nortel to be mainly a call center phone but I believe I've given a new life here as not only a call center phone but as an attendant console. This could be a viable alternative to users who want to replace their M2250s or the large attendant consoles from the old M7324s on the Nortel systems with uh, the large KEMs. So this simplifies everything down into a phone that would be remarkably attractive and uh, colorful for a receptionist with definitely all the different colored feature buttons and colored, um, well, semi-colored display with the uh, blue background in dark letters. So let's just take a quick look at how this phone is set up. I set up five lines on this phone which I labeled in-call buttons. So that would be your main area where you receive calls into the console. I labeled on the informational line attendant 44600 based off my days at Purdue, and Purdue that was the um, switchboard number, still is. The display um, actually has soft keys on the bottom of the phone like every other UCX uh, phone. These function keys work the same way as the other phones. You get your uh, voicemail, you can get through the callers list, you can access the features from the actual feature menu and press the quit button when you're done. Down here there's some inactive buttons that weren't necessarily compatible with the UCX at this time but will be in the future but this one works that's actually a handset that can go into the supervisor jack um, that's the hold button here's the goodbye button especially good for ending a page announcement or actually when you hang up this phone you always have to press this button in order to hang it up um, here's the mute button expand isn't used at this time this, these three are not used but then this button is used as a do not disturb button and it stays illuminated until you're done and this is actually an agent login button but it's inactive at this time um, and this is a listen on speaker uh, button and then here's your volume buttons and a small speaker and then over here I labeled the first KEM as a feature KEM and the second KEM as a busy lamp field KEM um, sidecar, whatever you'd like to call it. So if you notice, I pick up the phone at 1120E, it lights up, it shows that the phone's off hook, and it went back um, on hook. So that's pretty cool. I can actually monitor a whole bunch of extensions. I could turn these both in the KEMs, but I think in like a hospital application or a university application, this would be quite useful to have mainly all features and some of the main central answering positions throughout the organization labeled on the sidecars. So you can actually, um, let's make a call into this system. I had it set up on buzz, but now we can actually go to another phone and I'll just press zero. And now it's calling the operator and it gives me all this information telling me who's calling. I know it's from the operator extension queue coming in. I'll answer. I'll pick up the handset as I have to use the handset. You can also use a uh, headset with this and you have to use the goodbye button to release. So even if I do page, I actually have a page button set up here. Dr. Smith, 2786, Dr. Smith, 2786. And then press the goodbye button to release that page. So that's a little bit about how I set up this uh, Nortel 1150E as a attendant console phone. Hope you got a good uh, point out of it and have a great evening.